Oh, what have I learned a lot? It didn't do me much good, I don't think, but I've learned, I've learned a lot. I've learned to uh, don't be ashamed of your child. No matter what, don't be ashamed of that child. That's a human being made by God. Take them, uh, introduce them to everything, you know, that you can. Because we did Betty, and it's turned out pretty good. Betty can function pretty well on her own. She knows what she wants and lets you know it. <laughs> Ruth Miller is one of our founding parents at the Ark Northern Chesapeake. She is truly a legend. Ruth and her husband Ernest, and nine other families, started the Ark Northern Chesapeake region back in January of 1953. Ruth stated that she wanted more for her daughter Betty because she knew she was very capable of learning and holding a job. When she started the school, they said she couldn't stay because she couldn't do the, the work. And of course, then we took her out of the school and I started with a psychologist. And I said to the psychologist, what can we do? See, I'm a little tightwad anyway. And, uh, <laughs> and I said, I'm a taxpayer and my child's getting nothing. So she said, start your own school. I said, how do we do that? She said, get together. And I said, okay. She said, I'm seeing other parents with children that were handicapped. And that we met in her office. And uh, we decided what to do right then and there. And we met, and that night we uh, elected a president, vice president, and a secretary, uh, and a, a recording secretary. And then from that, we just worked. These families knew that their children were capable of learning and being engaged in their community. They wanted them to be educated, to learn life skills, job skills, because um, they wanted them to be independent. We had to prove to the Board of Education that our children could learn. So uh, one of the other couples had their daughter in the School of Chimes in Baltimore, and there was a Mrs. Gray teaching at the School of Chimes. They went and talked to her, and she came, and the only thing we had to promise her was a roof over her head and uh, food in her tummy. And that's what she did. She went from place to place. This is her picture here, right here. So I just thought it was outstanding of her to give up her job and come out here and do that. So anyway, we persuaded the Board of Education. We proved to them that they could learn and they opened the, the two schools that we had one in Haver de Grass and one in Emerson. And I drove one of the school buses. And in fact, the first school bus I drove was a 48 passenger with the gear shift doing this in the floor. <laughs> you know, uh, they, as they get old, it happens. But I drove it and uh, I just feel like the good Lord was in it, you know, uh, helping me to do that. Betty and Dwight Perdue, the two of them, was able to do 20 years at Burger King and do it, do their jobs good. Dwight had uh, the trash and that type of thing. That was Dwight's uh, main thing, you know, and Betty's thing was 
sweep the tables clean and tell people where to go if they needed that direction. They did well, they really did. And there were others now, it wasn't just those two, they were others that bloomed and went out too and did things. I didn't imagine it exactly the way they have it, but I imagined uh, them having homes and living in a way from me. I didn't want that, but I imagined that and was very pleased when it started to happen. I can't say it's perfect, no, in my opinion, but that doesn't mean it's not perfect for Betty because Betty's the one that's living it and she's perfectly happy. Well, I just think it's amazing how far ARC has come. I mean, it's amazing and still people in there fighting for it, you know, I mean, working for it, I should say. I just thank God so often and asked him to keep these people going for it. And I'm not a preacher. I'm just, <laughs> I just believe in the Lord and what he does. Over the years, a lot has changed. We as an organization and a community have come a long way from having two little schoolhouses and it's important to remember these beginnings. Our families started from scratch, but they knew their children were capable of succeeding even when the doctors advised them to put them into institutions. Thank you to Ruth and Ernest and the other nine families for giving us a different vision and a different future for individuals with differing abilities. Now it's our turn to imagine the future.